Hi there. My name is Mike Talchik. I'm a project design engineer here at New England Wire Technologies. One aspect of determining cable design is figuring out what type of conductor plating to use. This video FAQ will discuss some basic characteristics of the three most common platings, tin, silver, and nickel. We'll also throw in bare copper as a comparison. So looking at our chart, the first characteristic is maximum operating temperature. Most standard cable applications can get away with the lower temp ratings of bare and tin copper. Where applications exceed 150 degrees C, you may want to consider silver plating or nickel plating. Note that for nickel plating, there is a range. Nickel plated copper comes in different plating thicknesses. The thicker the plating, the higher the temperature rating. Our second characteristic is electrical conductivity. The percentages are based on IACS or International Annealed Copper Standard. Where absolute lowest resistance is a key factor, consider silver plating or bare copper. Both tin and nickel elements have lower conductivity, so when it's plated over copper, the overall conductor conductivity is lower. Note that nickel plated copper with a higher nickel plating thickness will have lower conductivity. How well a conductor solders can be a deciding factor, especially for a cable or assembler. Bare copper oxidizes over time, which can affect soldering. Tin copper can solder very well initially, but there is degradation over time requiring the use of some sort of flux. Silver plated copper has excellent solderability. Nickel plated copper will require the use of an activated flux. When it comes to corrosion resistance, nickel plated copper is the best performer of the group. Applications for nickel include aerospace, industrial sectors, and other high temperature environments. Next on the list is cost. Silver plated copper will typically incur the highest cost as it is a uh, precious metal. The costs vary as plating thicknesses vary. Obviously, the thicker the plating thickness, the higher the cost. Some other comments. Bare copper is a good general conductor. Tin copper has some advantages over bare in that you can get gains in longer shelf life. Silver plated copper is often used in high frequency applications where skin depth may be an issue. Nickel plated copper tends to be a hard material, so mechanical termination should be checked periodically. This concludes our review of standard plating types and their pros and cons. Hopefully this information can help you in making the right choice for your specific applications. Of course, if you have any other questions on this subject, please contact us here at New England Wire Technologies.